Good everyone, you're watching Makoga Enterprises. Today's video is going to focus on what is quality system of work. So we get to understand exactly what is um, the quality system of work and then also how do we implement it? What are the different things that we take into consideration while implementing a safe and quality system of work while we are carrying out our project? It's very important when it comes to delivering your project to your client to ensure that what you are giving to them is fit for use and conforms to the requirement of the project. The washing machine enterprises, please do like, share, subscribe, and keep sharing, as well as turn on the notification button so that when anytime we upload a new video, you're going to be notified. And thanks for watching and keep watching. So on our list, the first thing that we are going to be discussing will be shop drawings. So we have to make sure that we we get all our shop drawings done make sure that they are all approved prior to proceeding with the installation of work on site. So be it the different systems that we are installing on site, it could be the MEP system, which is mechanical, electrical, and plumbing. So we might be carrying out lighting systems, small power systems, um, fire alarm systems, firefighting system, HVAC system, plumbing system. So depending the different type of systems that we are carrying out, we have to make sure that the shop drawings are all approved. And then when we talk of the shop drawings, we are relating it to the MEP drawings as well as the architectural drawings, which are the ID drawings. So we have to make sure that they are all approved prior to proceeding with the different installation of work on site. So this is the first part when it comes to the quality system of work. So the second point now, which will be the material submitter. So after we've made sure that our shop drawings are all approved, we have to make sure as well the materials or metal is also approved. So the materials that we are bringing to site, we have to ensure that it is prior approved first from the consultant side before we are bringing the different materials to site. So we have to make sure we, we, we check all the different materials based on the different systems that we are installing. It could be either um, galvanized ions, uh, chill water pipes, um, firefighting pipes, we have different accessories such as switches, light fixtures, sprinkler points and all that. So basically, when all the material submitters have been approved, then we can now proceed with the next part of the activity when it comes to a quality or a quality system of work. So we might be talking as well of uh, technical submitters, whereby we have different technical details or probably we have some engineering calculations that need to be done. So we have to make sure that we get into take into consideration that, make sure that they are all approved by the consultant before we are proceeding with the next steps. So the next is going to be uh, the risk assessment, meta statements, which is called the RAMS and the ITP, which is inspection test plan. So we have to make sure that we prepare now our meta statement, which is a risk assessment and meta statement. And then also with the ITP, some projects, they combine the two together, while some other projects, they split the two as separate submitters. So we have to make sure that they are all approved, which will be based on the different systems that we are carrying out or the different services. So we might be talking of um, BMS system, lighting control system, B, uh, fire alarm system, firefighting system, HVAC system. So all these different systems, they have their all individual meta statement as well as the ITP. And then also the risk assessment, which is concerning that different services are concerned. So after that is being done, we now start preparing ourselves now to start moving to the install ins installation works on site. So the prayer to installing or carrying out the installation work on site, we have to ensure that we have our start, which is ready, which is start of work and safety task analysis and risk reduction talk, which is called a start. And also we have to make sure that we prepare the permit to work system so that while we are carrying out our installation on site, we have to ensure that we are carrying out the installation with safety, which is very important. So as such, we have to make sure that we go to site, make sure that we get all the concerned or the, the concerned technicians that are carrying out the installation works. We give them an insight of what they are doing, the quality aspect as well as the safety aspect so that while they are carrying out the installation works, they know exactly what they are doing and it conforms to the requirement of the project as well as meeting to the safety target of the project. So the next now is going to be on a request for inspection and testing. So after certain installation have been done, which involves the first fix, second fix, third fix, probably moving now to the commissioning of the system, 
So we have to ensure that we raise inspection for the different um, services that we've carried out. So it will either be first fix, second fix, or text fix. So we ensure that we raise all the different inspections, make sure that they are all approved prior to moving to the next stage or the next phase, which is the second fix. If the first fix is approved, we move to the second fix. So we have to move continuously with the different inspection requests so that we make sure that we get to the final stage, which is the final fix, which is a third fix, prior to us moving now to a testing and commission. And then we start raising inspection also for the testing and commission, which is the RFIT, which is a re uh, request for inspection, request, and testing. So we have to make sure that we make sure all that is being done so that we can move with the next part of the activity when it comes to the quality system of work. And then the next part, which is um, quality audit. So we have to make sure that monthly we are providing quality reports, which will give the overall quality of the project. And we make sure that we get to see all the different aspects. When we start talking of the shop drawings, we talk of the material submitters, we talk of um, the inspection requests, material inspection requests as well, or the material delivery inspections. We look at also the site observation request, request uh, which is called the SORs, and then we look at the NCS as well, which is a, a non-conformance reports. So we have to make sure that we, we go through all the different parts of, like I did mention, so we ensure that we get um, we get a report as well as far as all that is concerned so that we know the overall quality um, position of the project, which is very important. So we move now to the next part, which is a snack list. So after all the installation works have been carried out, we have to ensure that we get to a snack point whereby we will Probably it might be coming out from the consultant side. So when they have different comments, it could either be major or minor. So we make sure that we close all these different comments which have been generated by the consultant. So once that is done now, we will be able now to prepare our project now to close it or to hand over to the client once the entire project is completed. So that being said, it is very good that we make sure that we prepare a very good quality plan so that we'll be able to carry our project with quality and make sure that it meets or conforms to the requirement of the project is very important. 